and welcome to the video tutorial for your new Mitel 8528 digital telephone from Telesolutions. We will be discussing some of the basic features and functionality of your new telephone. To make an internal call to another extension on your system, you can simply dial the extension of the person you're trying to reach. To make an outgoing call, press the outgoing key located here. You will hear dial tone and you may dial your party's number. You will notice the appearance of call keys on your phone. Call keys differ from line keys in that they do not have a direct relationship with any specific telephone numbers, as was seen on many traditional telephone systems. Call keys simply act as an on-deck system, where the first call you receive will appear on call key 1, a secondary call would appear on call key 2, and so on. To receive a ringing inbound call, simply pick up the handset. You can also answer your telephone hands-free by pressing either the blinking call key or the speaker key located here. To place your caller on hold, simply press the red hold button here. To retrieve your caller from hold, press the blinking call key. To transfer your call to another station, you can use the transfer key located here. While on the line with your caller, press the transfer key. Your call will be immediately placed on transfer hold and you will receive internal dial tone in your ear. You can then dial the extension number of the party you would like to transfer the call to. At this point, you have several transfer options. If you immediately hang up, the call will be transferred to the new extension and ring as any incoming call would. You also have the ability to remain on the line until that person you are transferring the call to answers to announce the call. Again, if you hang up, the call will ring at that station like an incoming call. And finally, you have the ability to place a caller on hold at the remote station by simply pressing the red hold button, again located here, before hanging up your phone. To retrieve a call ringing or holding at a remote station, you can use the reverse transfer feature. To use this feature, simply press the number 4 on the keypad, followed by the extension number that the call is either ringing or being held. You will hear a confirmation tone and immediately be connected to that call. I'd now like to discuss some of the standard buttons on your telephone and each of their functions. The volume keys, located here, control four different volume levels. If the phone is idle, these buttons control the ringer volume of the telephone. If the speaker is active, they control the speaker volume. If you are using a handset, they control the handset volume. And finally, if you are utilizing an optional headset, they will control that volume as well. The speaker key, as we discussed earlier, located here, will activate and deactivate your speakerphone. The mute key, located here, will deactivate all microphones on your telephone. This key will illuminate and the screen will read microphone mute on when it is in use. You will still be able to hear your caller, but they will not be able to hear you. To deactivate the mute function, just press the mute key again. The blue Mitel super key, located here, gives you access to several functions on your phone that will not be discussed in this tutorial. You can access your phone's user guide from telesolutions.com for more details regarding this key and its functions. The feature key, located here, allows you to access all of the phone's end user features that are also available in the online user guide. The redial key, located here, will dial the last outside party number you dialed from this phone. Simply press this key to redial without the need to press anything else to reach your party. The message key, located here, is used in conjunction with the voicemail system and is discussed in the video tutorial for your new voicemail system located at telesolutions.com. The IC or intercom button, located here, is used as an indication only button. It will blink to let you know your intercom is active. It does not, however, need to be pressed to make an internal call. The voicemail key, located here, has two separate functions. It can be used to access another user's voicemail directly by pressing the voicemail key and entering that party's mailbox number, which is usually the same as their extension number. It can also be used to send an outside caller directly to another user's mailbox. To transfer a call to voicemail, while on the call, press the voicemail key. Your caller will be placed on transfer hold and the system will prompt you to enter a mailbox number. Enter the user's mailbox number and hang up to deliver the caller directly to voicemail. As an end user, you have the ability to take any of the keys that are not hard-coded feature keys and program them to be one-touch station keys. To program a key to be a one-touch station key, you can follow these steps. While the phone is idle, press 397 on the keypad. Press the available button you would like to program. Enter the extension number of the user that you would like that program to become. 
This key now gives you presence information in that it will illuminate to let you know whether that phone is busy or free. It also allows you to transfer calls to that phone simply by pressing the key with no need to use the transfer key. If this key is pressed while on a call, your caller will be immediately placed on transfer hold and the system will dial this user's extension for you. Upon receiving a voicemail message, the message key, as well as the light bar at the top of the phone, will begin to illuminate. To check your messages, you can either hit the speaker key or pick up the handset and press your blinking message key. You will be prompted to enter your password. Once your password has been entered, you will be prompted with all voicemail options. Thank you for taking the time with us today to learn about the features and functionality of your new Mitel 8528 digital telephone from Telesolutions. For additional information, you can always visit our website at tele-solutions.com. That's T-E-L-E hyphen solutions.com.